Okay, yes, so I think uh, we are live. So hello and uh, good evening everyone. First of all, happy Diwali uh, from all of us at uh, Doc Tutorials. So um, we have a 10 p.m. mentorship session today. Uh, so we have named it Dilse. And uh, this is one of the multiple sessions that we are doing at 10 p.m. short and sweet 15 minute sessions. So today we are going to have uh, a short discussion uh, with uh, Dr. Vandana Puri, Madam, uh, the ACE Pathology Faculty of uh, Doc Tutorials. So first of all, uh, welcome, ma'am. Thank you so much, sir. And a very, very happy Deepavali to uh, all of you. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't think that it can be a better time to interact with everyone and wish everyone Dandiwali, sir. Thank you so much, sir, for this session. Right. So uh, to all dear students attending this session, this is not a detailed teaching session, just 15 minutes. But what Madam will be telling us, what are the most important 20 topics from pathology for INICT? And these topics are gold. These topics are the topics you should definitely focus upon for INI. And I'm sure that all of you know, pathology is one of the most important rank deciding subjects for INICT. So I'm sure that, uh, you know, all the viewers will be wanting to uh, listen from you, madam, on what those 20 most important topics are, because over the last several years, you have mentored students, you have closely seen this pattern as well, and you have done your DM as well from Ames Delhi. So uh, over to you, ma'am. Can you just uh, uh, tell the students on the most important topics for INICT pathology? Thank you so much, sir. Yes. Uh, so, uh, so guys, uh, as uh, many of you have requested to have a session in English, so I just want to say that, uh, yes, pathology is a very important subject. Eh? And, you know, um, and there are fixed topics which are repeated over the past five years. So, this is not a detailed session. So, I'll just highlight some topics. Jisko kiye bagayar exam mein nahi jana hai. You have to do this and then only you can go to the exam. Okay, so let's focus on those topics. So, when we talk about these topics, guys, you should be very, very clear that uh, first, when we talk about pathology, we can divide it into general pathology, systemic pathology, hematology, blood banking, techniques, and organisms. So this point should be super duper clear. So when I talk about general pathology, please be clear. Since the Robbins 11th edition has come, be sure to revise apoptosis and all the new variants that have come, maybe pyroptosis, necropotosis, super important because there are updates in this. So this is one of the tentative questions that can be asked. Okay. Apart from that, you should know about Warburg effect, okay? So, a Warburg effect, tumor suppressor gene and proto-oncogenes. Do revise this. Since this time's Nobel Prize was given to regulatory T-cells, you should know everything about regulatory T-cells. And this is super important, okay? The markers, the diseases, everything about regulatory T-cells should be known. Next is ANA antibody. So there are some antibodies which they will give. So images of ANA antibodies should be very well known and with what diseases they are associated. Apart from that, you have to know anti-mitochondrial antibodies. Where are they associated? And all the types of ANCA, P ANCA and C ANCA. So this is super, super important. So please know about these. Also know about tumor markers, universally asked question, okay, so it can be a tumor marker of pheochromocytoma or a testicular tumor, any tumor marker can be asked, please do revise it, okay. And then always remember negative acute phase reactants, you should know. And the most important thing that they are asking nowadays in your INICT is your patterns in the serum protein electrophoresis. That might be in nephrotic syndrome, that might be in cirrhosis, that might be in multiple myeloma. So that should be very, very clear. So that's about general pathology topics that you should be knowing. Coming to the systemic pathology, guys. So systemic pathology is everything from your medicine, surgery, ortho, everything. So, but what are the important topics that you should know? Let's focus on this. 
any question can be asked about glomerulonephritis and nephrotic syndrome. So they can give you any glomerulonephritis, they can give you any nephrotic syndrome. Please be sure that you know about them. Hepatitis is important for microbiology also and pathology. The ground glass uh, appearance or the lymphoid follicles in the portal tract, all that can be asked. Remember, autoimmune hepatitis is a very important question and their antibodies must be known. Please be sure to revise cardiomyopathy, the carne triad, the carne complex, the LAM, the name syndrome, the Ashoff nodules, okay, myocardial infarction stages. So these are very important things that you have to revise in heart. Apart from that, thyroid cancer is always favorite. They can give you it as a match the following. And Hashimoto thyroiditis is another important question that can be given to you as an image-based question. It might be their antibodies, it might be their histopathology, anything. Now, coming to the respiratory syndrome, uh, respiratory system, they can give you the image of your normal bronchi, bronchioles, plus the difference between silicosis and asbestosis is a very, very important question which they ask you. And the lung tumor mutations, do revise that, okay? So in soft tissue tumors, please remember they can give you the mutation of soft tissue tumors and especially the Ewing's uh, sarcoma, rhabdomyosarcoma, super important. In nerve, you know, from the past so many years, you have seen that there is no exam that goes without asking a question on schwannoma or neurofibroma. So it can be an image-based question. It can be a veruque bodies. Please revise that. Now, what about pituitary? So in pituitary, this is the recent in thing. So craniopharyngioma. They can ask you craniopharyngioma, or they can ask you, you know, the markers, okay, uh, which can be there in pituitary. So they can give you a growth um, hormone pituitary adenoma, or they can give you um, uh, which is the. Uh, 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 stain that helps in differentiating normal pituitary from pituitary adenoma. So that's reticulin. So these are simple things, but pituitary is the recent in thing. Revise it. Apart from that, salivary gland tumor, what is benign, what is malignant, and histopathology of the uh, pleomorphic adenoma, adenoid cystic, a super important question. Then all the rosettes they can ask you. It can be Homer right rosette, perivascular rosette. It can be rosette of retinoblastoma. Please know that. Apart from that, primary CNS lymphoma is a new in thing. So the very important tentative question can be asked from this. Okay. So where it is associated, uh, how with HIV, what is whooping, that is all they can ask you. GI polyp always, putes, jagger, juvenile, uh, adenomas, villus adenoma. Please be very sure to know each and every extra intestinal manifestation of GI polyps. Coming to the testicular and ovarian tumors. So there is an always question on granulosa cell tumor. It can be histopathology, it can be PAP, it can be their bodies, polyx in our bodies. York sac tumor, please revise uh, very, very nicely both in male and female and how are they different and seminoma, the gross appearance. Coming to the hematology, when we talk about it, simple things, very, very catchy. Always they ask you this, okay? IDA versus ACT marker, myeloblast image, they can give you a rod, ITP, Viscott Aldrich, and Bernal Solier. This is one question that they can always rotate and give you history-wise, so please know that. Apart from that, remember how to differentiate CML versus CLL, smart cells, garden party appearance. And myeloma, especially the slim criteria, okay, very, very important apart from crap and serum protein electrophoresis, we have already talked. Please revise about vacutainers. So, very, very important order of draw vacutainers. Say always there'll be one question. So, make sure you know that. Remember the basic techniques. One question can be from it. So, Halis, Newbar, and ESR, anyone can be asked. One question from the molecular technique will always be there. It can be Sanger, it can be next generation, it can be karyotyping. Do revise this technique. Now, in blood banking, any one question on blood component or the reactions, transfusion reactions, immediate or delayed can be asked. So, make sure there is going to be one question on the blood banking and do revise it. Apart from that, look at the organism. So this is the list that I've made for organism. Any one organism can come. Okay, it can be aspergillus, mucor, pneumocystis, CMV, histoplasma, cryptococcus, cryptosporidia, HSV, malaria, or babesia. So these are any one of the organism will definitely come. They can give you CD4 count and which infections are associated, something like that. And in the stains, always remember past stain. 
okay so it can be dot and blot positivity or which is pass and die stays positive can be given and sweet and golden reticulin stain so a lot of question on reticulin stain it's a silver stain they can always ask you question on this so these are must 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 uh, revising uh, must topics that you should know before you enter into the exam hall for inict exam so these are the most important topics guys which you should be knowing ma'am and approximately how many questions in total the students can expect uh, from pathology so 30 to 35 kahin nahi jata hai 30 to 35 will always be there and don't you think that you know many of these questions can be rank deciding because uh, having seen these inict questions i have also noticed that you know only if you know the pathology in good depth you know will you, will you be able to answer certain questions of course there will be a couple of bouncers but otherwise don't you think you know it is uh, very much rank deciding 100% sir pathology is going to be rank deciding because pathology has a simple rule because there are a lot of image based questions or they can make an image uh, they can make a story like an image and they can give it to you so it is like either you know it or you don't know it if you know it definitely you going to do it right plus it there are a lot of integrated questions in pathology also pathology and medicine pathology and ortho pathology and surgery so only if you know these you will be able to you know answer properly okay ma'am and uh, one question like uh, how useful will be watching the recall videos like you have done the recall videos of uh, pathology in the doc tutorial sap so what do you think uh, watching those videos will be important this stage 100% so uh, recall videos are the most important pointers because you know they give you the most uh, frequently asked topics okay. so we don't they only discuss the question we we'll discuss the topic so those topics definitely there will be a question which which will be repeated right and also ma'am you know if someone has not done pathology in you know good depth uh, will watching your revision videos like the qrp videos help uh, in last minute preparation for imi so qrp always helps you if you have not studied well at least looking at the qrp gives you an uh, gives you an idea what all are the important topics that can be asked okay so yes uh, they will uh, they will help you i will not say that uh, you can you know uh, replace hard work but yes uh, i think they that will give you an edge that what all can be asked right and ma'am every year before inict or every session before inict you know do you do make some predictions so can we expect this time as well 100% sir 100% 100% jinx okay. questions are the essence of finance ct it's like you know i i somehow uh, uh, feel like an oracle you know before the exam it is mandatory to you know post certain jinx questions right. and uh, that is an uh, so you will be posting uh, that in your instagram page right yeah right. so, so i i'll try to post it them on the instagram or also uh, we have common whatsapp groups also where we keep on posting some jinx questions so anywhere so in so case you, know, you are not there any you know the viewers if you're not there in madam's whatsapp group you know you can just uh, you know ping her in instagram message if that's okay for you ma'am and uh, you know you'll be added yeah, to yeah. The, uh, the the group even i am also having the inict specific group so in case uh, you are not there in that group you can message me in instagram as well my insta id is dr_rahul_rajiv so i'll be doing discussions in uh, that group as well specifically for ini so uh, thank you so much madam for that crisp illustration of uh, the most high yielding topics for ini ct and uh, looking forward for those jinx questions as well am students please do watch out for it because every year i have seen questions being asked from it as well thank you so much everyone for joining thank you so much ma'am for that uh, wonderful session thank you so much thank you so much sir and a very very happy diwali enjoy your night bye bye sir and bye bye everyone bye bye